here. Uh, the city of Farmington has uh, owned the uh, old 47th District Courthouse property uh, for you know many years. And as you indicated, uh, the courthouse building here behind us was uh, vacated about 13 years ago this July. Um, and that's when the um, court um, facilities, the court staff, the judges uh, all moved to the new court location um, in Farmington Hills. And uh, since that time, uh, this building has sat here vacant. Uh, the city has been working over the last several years on looking to uh, plan to redevelop the old 47th District Courthouse uh, property. And uh, as we talked about earlier, the city has put in uh, place a redevelopment plan for this area. The downtown area plan has five sub areas uh, in that planning document for redevelopment. And one of those areas is uh, sub area D, and sub area D includes the old 47th District Courthouse property and the adjacent 10 mile school, the bus garage, and the administration property, all owned by Farmington Public Schools. Uh, the courthouse property is about uh, 15,000 plus square feet. The site itself is about 3.8 uh, uh, plus acres. And the city's redevelopment plan calls for demolition of the existing uh, old uh, former courthouse uh, building. And there's also a small storage building on site and redevelopment uh, with new residential development. And uh, the city actually had uh, an interest in the property back in uh, 2013. We worked with uh, a uh, company out of um, Louisville, Colorado, Balfour Care, and they were proposing to redevelop the site as an 88-bed assisted living uh, and memory care facility, uh, about a 73,000 square foot um, building, two-story building here um, on this site. And uh, through a plan unit development process, uh, we got through the approval process. We had a purchase agreement in place. However, Balfour, after reviewing their business plans and operations, uh, even though we got to that point, made the decision not to move forward uh, with that redevelopment project. And that was at the end of uh, 2014, beginning of 20, uh, 2015. Uh, in light of that, the city then uh, moved forward with uh, working with our uh, real estate uh, brokers, uh, Thomas A. Duke companies here out of uh, the Greater Farmington area, have moved forward with um, marketing the property again, and the city received another uh, number of interests as it did when it was marketing it uh, prior when Balfour uh, had uh, put forth their purchase agreement and we've realized now a, num a number of other interests where the city has moved forward and has agreed to a purchase agreement with uh, SDC Ventures with Roger Schur for residential development and uh, the purchase agreement and the uh, preliminary conceptual plans call for redevelopment of this site with new single-family residentials. And how many homes will be built on this site? Well, on this 3.82 acre site, what the current uh, concept plan calls for is a single loaded road. So a road uh, off of 10 Mile into the site and 14 new single family homes and then a connection. Um, the road will stub out into the uh, school property. So there would be a opportunity for redevelopment that could connect to the 10 Mile School, the bus garage and the administration property. But right now, uh, the current plans call for 14 new single family homes. All right, and do you know the price range, roughly, that those homes will be selling at? You know, I don't yet because it's still early uh, in uh, the project as proposed. Like I said, we have a purchase agreement. We have a, a preliminary concept plan. We have not kicked off the um, review and approval process yet, which we're going to see a, another plan unit development process uh, here, uh, as we've used in the uh, community and other areas, most recently with the uh, Flanders School redevelopment, where right. we realized 33 new homes. Working. And the important thing is, this is another property that's going back on the tax rolls. The important thing is, and one of the important things is, <laughs> it, it's, things. Uh, yes, absolutely, it's going back on the tax roll. You know, sitting here uh, as a vacant site, there's been no return. Yeah, Certainly right. with the courthouse property, it was a municipal property, so there was no uh, tax uh, revenue generated uh, there either. But certainly uh, with new single family homes, we'll realize the return, uh, tax return from that, plus uh, single family um, for families, hopefully with school-aged children, mm -hmm. which would certainly result in uh, children here for Farmington Public Schools.